Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Angel Baby and today I'm going to help you with celebrating Valentine's Day on a dollar budget. Valentine's Day is only one week away from today so I'm going to give you some inexpensive ideas while staying on a dollar budget and while using materials that you already have. We will start from the smallest amount to the largest gift and I'm going to give you some comparable amounts so you know that you'll be saving by doing all these gifts yourself. Now the first gift that we're going to do is the dollar bill message. And you're like, what is that? Now if you don't have a lot of money, you can kind of do this idea depending on how much you want to use. And it will save you a lot of money. It is a really unique idea and it's not going to cost a lot. So. I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. Now here, I got this little mailbox and it came from the Dollar Tree. And it has a little tab to let you know that you have mail just like a traditional mailbox. And I stuffed some tissue paper in here. This tissue paper came in a pack from the Dollar Tree. It comes in several colors and patterns so you could just pick whichever one you prefer. This one came with the Valentine's Day um, writing on here. And then it came with some white tissue paper. And on here, I stuffed that in there. And I also wrote a note on a dollar bill that says happy birthday and I decorated it. So it depends on how many of these you want to do. You can do a message um, for a whole week, so you get seven. And you can just write a note on there each day. And you can have the person pull a note so they have a new note to go um, with their day with or depending on how you want to do it you could just put how many bills you want to put in there and write just a special note you can do like your how many uh, days you've been dating any kind of anniversary um, how long you've known them it just depends on what you're wanting to do but that's a cute idea I did a couple of them to show you the difference so like I said I did this one that said happy Valentine's Day and then this one, I was trying to use the plate on the dollar bill, so I did the first place goes to you. I did another one that says no one, one dollar bill can replace you. And then I did another one that says you're number one in my life. So you'll take these notes and you'll just stick them in your mailbox and close your box up and just put your tab up to let them know that they have a special message inside that you want them to read. Okay, so I'm going to put this aside. And the next one is kind of a play on the candy grams. I don't know if y'all remember the candy grams in school where someone could pay and, and you would get like a special little note and a piece of candy to go in school. Well, if your kids are in school or you know, you just want to do something unique, you can do a candy gram. And what I did was I went to Target and we'll actually discuss the three stores we went to to get all the stuff. Target, Walmart, and Dollar Tree. So this actually came from Target and it is the Tissero Bunches. You get seven of these in here and it comes with a little note too. You can give that as a gift if you want. This can be a tie down for a balloon so you could just get a dollar balloon, these came from the Dollar Tree, get a dollar balloon, tie these down, and then this can be the weight to tie the balloon down, and then that can be a gift as well too, that's another idea. But anyway, I took one of these out, I'm going to put this back in here. I took one out, and I made a note, my handwriting isn't that great, but um, what I did was I printed one off, and I just put little hearts on it, and then I put some curling ribbon, this probably is a staple in your house. If not, it's very inexpensive. You can get a roll of this. Um, sometimes they come like four in a pack or you can get um, the individual one from the dollar store and you just tie it around and that's your note. And you can give these. Um, your kids can take these to school or you can give this to whoever you want to give it to as a special note. This could be a good gift for a coworker too. It's, it's something just to brighten someone's day. So, that's another idea. Now, another one that we can do for Valentine's is the cookie tray. Now, 
with the cookie tray y'all these are very expensive um i did a comparable um i just kind of looked it up and they were about 40 dollars it's like the minimum price that you would pay for this which is outrageous so you can do this yourself you it does not take a it just takes effort pretty much um just a little bit of work i mean you can sit there and mix up the brownie mix the cookie it, really you only have to make the cookies from scratch mix the brownie mix up or get like some toll house pull apart cookies all you're doing is just flattening those out and cutting the shapes and decorating that's really all that you're doing with this so i did a tray like i said this is would be about forty dollars i'll tell you how much i spent so the container that i have i'm gonna hold it up real quick it's a heart that came from the dollar tree okay i did let's see brownies rice crispy treat and then if you look in the middle it's like the cookies i decorate all these and i made all of them myself as well i did the little tab i print that off i um decorate that curling ribbon the bag so with this um a lot of this you should have at home if your kids eat cereal you eat cereal i already had the rice crispy treats i had the marshmallows because i had made rice krispies before so i already had that I actually had the sprinkles that went on some of them. I already had that as well. And the brownie mix was a dollar. The frosting, I think, was a dollar thirty something. I got it at Walmart. And then the piping um, that I use, which I'll show you real quick what that is. The piping, I used the great value. That was about two or three dollars. And then just the frosting, which is the strawberry. I got that. Put that inside. So the tray cost me. If you want to count this, uh, you can really count this as ten cents because, like I said, you're going to use this ribbon a lot in any holiday. So you might as well stock up on all the colors. You already have this paper. You can make that at work. Make it home. That doesn't cost anything. The bag that's wrapped in. Is a gift bag like an Easter bag for um, the gift baskets that's what this is I just put it in and then I put the twist tie around it put the curling ribbon around it and then I cut the top so it wouldn't just be standing all the way up here it looks a little more expensive when you cut it and shape it that was a dollar actually it was 50 cents because in the bag it came two bags in one pack so it was actually 50 cents. The brownie mix was a dollar. Rice Krispies, you probably are gonna have that. You are probably are gonna have the marshmallows. Um, the brownie mix was a dollar. So if you add all that up, compared to minimum $40 for a tray, there you go. You did it yourself, you know they're really fresh. You know that your hands have been touching and no one else's, so that's another plus. And there you go. It's something easy, quick, and it looks very expensive. Okay. I'm about to go back to as well. So you got a full tray of treats for your coworkers, your family, friends, whoever you're going to give this to. This is a good gift as well, especially someone that likes treats. It's very expensive, and it's a very good idea to do for them, and it shows that you took effort to make it. I'm going to put that down, and... The next thing I'm going to show you is like the little small treat bags or the kids bag. Um, actually with this, I did one already up for you so you can see what I'm talking about. So all this is is a little dinosaur balloon that came from the Dollar Tree. Okay. This bag right here is a treat bag. So, if you don't know, and I don't have the top to show you, but they come about 10 in the pack. They're little cellophane bags, and then they have the little ties at the bottom. That's all that is. I'm going to just take the bag, and in here I just put, uh, this is Valentine's Day candy, so a Sour Punch candy. So this is kind of like the movie size candy. If you don't want your kids or whoever you're giving this to, if you don't want them to have a lot of candy, 
just put that size in put like a toy a treat whatever goodie you want that person to have this doesn't even have to pertain to a kid or a child this can be for an adult too your loved one a friend family co-worker whoever you want this for put them something special in um, you can do different things pens notepads anything small a mug something like that to that effect you can put that in there and then this stuff is the um, crinkle foil paper and I'll show you what that looks like this also comes in a bag and you can get that from the Dollar Tree you're just going to get a small amount of that so about that much it doesn't take a lot to put in these bags this will last you for a long time if you get a bag of this it comes in different colors and you can use it for birthdays christmas whatever occasion and i promise you this will last for years if you don't use a lot of it so i'm going to use that put that in, in the bottom of the bag for decorations tied up you can just cut a if you don't know how to make a fancy bow that's fine just cut a piece of ribbon and just tie a bow around it that's all you have to do this didn't cost a lot like i said if you get that bag of the the crinkles if you get a bag of that and then you get this um this little cellophane bag that lasts for a long time depending on how many you're doing the ribbon if you get a spool of ribbon which these are the curling ribbons as well and really they are see if i can find it for you all this is is the wire edge ribbon you can get these also at the Dollar Tree. They'll occasionally have them. You just get these. So really, if you already have that, the cellophane bag and the foil and the ribbon will last you a long time. So that's not something that you have to rebuy every time you do a gift. So all you're really paying for is the balloon, the sour punch, the candy, and whatever you're going to put in there. This actually, if I add it up, because I already had the other three materials cost me three dollars to make you can actually make a bunch of these up um, let's say your child is in school right now you can make up one for each child in the class and I'm telling you that will blow them out of the water if you give them something like this instead of traditional cupcakes or anything like that which I did make a cupcake tray you know nothing really special with that but if you do something like this the kids will go crazy over it. Especially this toy actually came from the Dollar Tree too. And it lights up. It's a little UFO. So we got that. And I'm going to put this off to the side. Like I said, and I'll show you real quick. You can do your own treats too. I'm pretty sure a lot of you do cupcakes. It doesn't cost a lot. Dollar mitts. Um, frosting maybe like two or three dollars. And then the piping gel that I use. I use that same piping gel that I did for the cookies, the brownies, and the treats. I use that same gel because we're using everything up and I'm getting the most use out of it. I use it for the cupcakes. I make two little love buds. And then I just did a line down the middle, circle around dot 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 and if you want something edible you could just use twizzlers for the little antennas i've used actually pieces of um pipe cleaner because i didn't have anything else but just for the purposes of this video just to show you that's how you would do the little antennas so move this to the side now the next thing i'm going to show you is the candy flower bouquet now these go for a lot of money um i looked it up the candy bouquet that you kind of find in the stores with the little boxes of candy and the little sticks with the little candy on top those go for let me see what i think they were about 40 and up a lot of the things i'm showing you is 40 and up range they can get pretty high, especially if you're getting like a professional to do it. And then you're going to pay their fee. You're going to pay for the delivery fee. You're going to pay the tip. So you have to keep all those prices in mind that every time it passes through somebody's hand, you're paying an extra fee upon that versus passes through your hand once. 
you got that. You're not paying a fee for that. So in order to do that, let me show you how to do it. So I'm going to go grab it real quick on the other side of the table. And here's the bouquet. Show you. Okay, so it has the Hershey's. It has the bow. Let me put it on my knee. It has the bow. I actually made that bow. It has the bouquet of roses. And it has the Hershey candy bars inside. And I wrapped it up in paper so it looks like real flowers. Now, you wouldn't be able to tell these flowers weren't real. I mean, they really look that good. And believe it or not, I got these flowers from the Dollar Tree. So, and I'll pull out and show you what they look like. So, it comes on one little stalk. Okay. So, you get six flowers. See? On one stalk. That's what they look like. And they have the leaves on them. These came, these were in the floral section at the dollar store. So, they're a dollar each. Put it back in there. And... The candy bars came in. I'm going to put these down real quick. See if I can find the container for y'all. You don't have to specially order those. This is what the pack looks like. This actually came from Target. It's about $5. So, and then I got it too because they were fresh. So they came in different colors. And actually I just picked the pink wrappers out of it so they would match the flowers. They actually came like this as well, this color, or I think some of them have blue too. So, I took the pink ones out, okay, and all I did was, and I'll take one out to show you. Let me pop this up. Okay, so, took the pink one out, and then all this is, is one of those little that you use. I got a pack of these. I think it was like 10 in a pack at the dollar store. I'm going to take it out so you can see what it is. So they come like this, but I was going to use a marker to color it green and that didn't work very well. It doesn't absorb into the wood very well. So then I was going to use floral tape. The floral tape, I know I had some, but I can't find it. So I need to get organized and that me organizing will be another video that I'll try to show y'all how I organize my little gift bins. So anyway, then I thought, well, what am I going to do? I didn't want to go to the store. I didn't want to spend any more money. So I took some curling ribbon in the color green. And like I said, this curling ribbon is going to be your best friend. So I would get it in every color that you possibly can get. This is dollar store. You can afford it. You can get this. I took this. But mind you, just pretend like this is green because I my green is somewhere around here, but I don't know where it is. So I took this and then I took it and I wrapped it around to go along the length of the pole. I just kind of left this part down because you're not going to see this. It's going to be in the paper. So that's what I did. And then I took the candy bar. I stuck the tab in here and I folded the little flap over that comes with the candy bar. I use clear packing tape just to secure it down. I use a piece of tape on this side, one down here to make sure it's secure. Press down. And there you go. There's your candy on the stick. You're going to take it. You're going to stick it in your bouquet. Let's see if I can find a good spot to stick it down. There you go. Don't grab it by the bar because I did that and I broke the candy bar. So don't do it that way. Just grab it by the end of the stick and push it down. And push this one down too as well. And that is your candy bouquet. So I also took some green tissue paper because whenever you get a bouquet it looks fancy in that green tissue paper before you put it in a vase. And another thing I like about this um, is, is that you don't need water. 
if you're giving this to someone at work, they don't have to scramble and try to find a vase. A lot of times you don't have a vase. You kind of throw those out. Unfortunately, you throw them out and then you don't have a vase. So, and especially if you're at work, who needs to go look for a vase? I mean, we don't have time for that. So, this is not going to dry out. It's not going to look bad. And it's, I mean, you'll have this for a long time if you choose to keep it. So, like I said, I wrapped this in some green tissue paper. That's traditionally how they would give it to you whenever they're delivering. And I'll show you what I use actually for that. This is Christmas tissue paper. And you're like, well, we're on Valentine's Day, not Christmas. Yes, but I bought this at Christmas time. It was cheaper. It's cheaper than the dollar store because they start marking things down. Red, you're going to use Valentine's Day. You don't even buy it. I just bought the other tissue paper because it had the writing. You're going to use this, the red, for Valentine's Day. The green is for Christmas. The red is for Christmas, too, or any kind of gift. So, you're going to use this year-round, and it's cheaper than the dollar store. Why not? I took about four sheets of the green. I wrapped it around. I made a bow, and there you go. This bouquet, uh, I mean, if you get real flowers, I know I got flowers last year from my mom. She sent me some at my job, and they were over $70. This right here, I did five of these stocks. That's five. The candy was five. So that's $10 right there. You already have the ribbon. If you don't, a dollar for a spool at the dollar store. So that's 10, 11 tissue paper you should already have. If not, a dollar for a pack, that's a dollar. That's 12. $12 for candy and flowers that aren't going to go bad versus upwards 80 on up I mean especially if you're getting all roses because I think the flower arrangement I got was it only had three roses in it this one is full of roses and that one was on only 70 so I wouldn't want to know how much you're spending for roses okay I'm going to move this to the side now you also can do a gift for your co-workers or like I said whoever you choose to do it you don't really have to do for anyone you can do for yourself you can spoil yourself if you don't have a Valentine's that's fine self-care you can appreciate yourself gift to you any of this stuff right here you can make for yourself you don't have to have someone special to give you something give it to yourself you deserve it but like I said this glass it says happiness is homemade dollar store you can get expensive candy Rocher the Diva Lint and that's um, Russell Stover in there a dollar each okay the crinkle stuff that's a dollar for a bag so you'll have that here's the rest of that ribbon that I used I mean I already had it why not use it I made a bow balloon dollar for the balloon and then this is the little gift bags like I said you're going to use the the all these bags so dollar uh not even a dollar ten cents you know dollar for the balloon ten for ten cents for the bag say fifty cents for the bow because you could get multiple uses out of that depending on how big you do the bow you're going to use pipe cleaners to make your bow i mean a dollar for the candy so that's about four dollars worth of candy i got these little confettis i stuck them in there to make it more festive so i mean let's see four five six dollars and then you should already have the rest so that's six dollar gift right there i mean this is easy and you don't have to spend a lot of money guys okay now the last thing i'm going to show you i'm going to move this back here is the idea i came up with my hot air balloon gift and it actually has a stuffed animal in it that's a dollar I wrote a note that says, your love is like floating in the clouds. And I made a little cloud. Okay. That's free. Okay. Whatever candy you want to put in, I just stuffed this for the bouquet. Like he's carrying a little bouquet of flowers. That's a dollar. Piece of Russell Stover candy. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. about that I'm chucking anyway that's a dollar so and then 
the little bucket was a dollar from the dollar store. So that's one, two, three, four. That was free, so that's four dollars right there. I got eight balloons, so that's four. That's let's see, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So this only costs twelve dollars. Twelve dollars for this. If you walked in with this, uh -oh. if you walked in with this, you're not telling me that someone's not going to be really impressed that they get that. So, here's just a couple ideas that help you with Valentine's Day. If you like this video, please comment down below. Let me know what you think. Hit the like button. Share this with everyone. Give them some tricks. And, you know, some good tips about how they can save. And hit a thumbs up. And down below, subscribe to my channel. And hit the notification. I can't even talk because I'm about to choke. But hit the bell. And that way you're notified whenever I upload any new videos. And until next time, be on the lookout. I will be uploading. So look out for the next video. And I will be looking forward to your comments. So we can just talk and save money together. Alright, love you guys. Bye!